Hey guys, this is uh, Tigaz in Revolut Studio. I thought I'd update you on my 3D uh, screen rendering thing. I've now made it into a system where you can actually load up models. Like at the moment, I haven't hooked up the help button, but we got all the models here, which is uh, basically in these in this file or folder here. So all you've got to do just Open, click the model folders, go up to the screen, like so, and then click on one of these. There's going to be on the help part where you can actually move the box around on the screen, like so. I'm just pressing the keys on the keyboard. This won't work online at the moment because I've got to work out how to uh, capture the key presses and mouse presses on uh, for each player. Oh, mouse, get away from that. Oh, yeah, thank you. I don't move the mouse out of the way. So the keys are as follows at this current uh, rendering U to go forward, H to go back, uh, G to go left, and J to go right, right even. Then it's U to go down, move the object down, and then T to move the object up. Let's actually load another uh, model file. At the moment, the it's very very basic at the moment. Let's do uh, let's do pyramid thingy <laughs> to rotate the uh, the objects that you're displaying. It's the numpad which is numpad 8, the pitch down, I guess, or pitch towards the camera, 2 to pitch away from the camera, 4 to rotate to the left, I guess that's clockwise, and then 6 to rotate anti-clockwise, like so, and 9 to sort of yaw, so we'll go if I actually do that you see that and then seven to go the opposite way to reset if you find that this the shape has actually gone off the screen and you can't find it five is to reset the rotation and one is to reset the uh, the shape uh, position like so so what I'll be doing is I will be releasing this for the Christmas pack alongside my 3D uh, model converter from Object. Uh, I've actually got it on me now, but it should be in the pack and I'll talk you through how to do that uh, closer to the time. This is just really an update program or update uh, video on what I've done. So now this screen has got a menu system I'll show you so I'm obviously creating the menu buttons on the fly as I usually do <laughs> the help is going to be an on-screen help to tell you tell you what the buttons are to m rotate move etc and how to upload and things I'll be uh, doing that next so the script is as follows for the menu it's very very basic this little bit here is to work out if you got that that's the actual rendering script that we were playing around with last video i've just disabled it for this version and then enable it when we load a, vid, uh, a uh, model and then all this script this menu script does is it enables that script and copies one of these uh, model files into that folder and then of course enables the script itself and it just displays that's it <laughs> the difference between the last video and this video is as you as you saw it was with the we can actually move it around manually so I've done quite a bit of work on this I still haven't got faces yet and I've got a tiny bit of back face detection on the actual uh, 
the screen itself is not perfect as you saw like if I load up my pyramid thingy when it loads uh, where are we there we are nope no that's all one <laughs> there we go yeah so if I actually zoom in move up so we can see those sort of shape you can see that it's not quite perfect where we wouldn't see these lines here that line there and round there I don't know how that's showing on YouTube rendering but whatever <laughs> so yeah I'll be eventually working out a way of actually getting that perfect at the moment it's getting there let's just say that so the only thing that this kind of system won't be able to display is complex uh, models anything above let's say a thousand polygons or something that'd be too much for it it will lag down Roblox like I've got a landscape here I'll show you how slow this is this is tiny Nope, oh, wrong way. I'll zoom in. And I've also got a 9 volt battery. As in one of the model files. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about the back face rendering. At the moment, that the actual mesh of that is uh, what you're seeing here is the front face. When we turn it, flip it over, it disappears, which is what normal uh, rendering does. If you like, I may have an option to turn that off, so kind of like a little option thing here. Turn off back faces and things like that. Um, I'll show you the 9 volt battery. This is as laggy as what's it. <laughs> here we go, it just takes a while for the load. Yeah, because we're inside, I've got to uh, change the starting position of the model. Right, zoom out. Look how laggy that is. Let's actually say 500 uh, polygons because this is about, I think, 400. And showing that uh, that saw thing that I showed, I don't know if I showed that in the last video. It may struggle on that. So, my, I guess the, what you can do for best. Uh, estimate is to try it if it freezes your Roblox then you know not to go that high basically <laughs> but I'll say the limits around about 400 500 I think how many lines is that let's have a look yeah so 9 volt battery is actually uh, the max for my system it might be wow well, it will be different on your system because you've probably got a more powerful computer <laughs> this is the actual model file all right let's copy that let's have a look how many lines that is uh notepad where are you come on a notepad no i do not want to download it now while i'm recording thank you Oh, it's already loaded up. Right. So, yeah, about 536 uh, polygons. Or, should I say, points. So, if you've got any, any models bigger than that, then it will lag down your uh, Roblox. Yeah, so I guess a thousand would do. Because my, my computer is only a dual core computer at the moment. I'm still working on trying to get my new computer up and running, but I messed up on the memory. I actually got server memory of all things. It did not say it in the uh, where I bought it. Oh well, I'm just sort of sorting it out. I'll probably sort it out after Christmas or something, get Christmas out of the way. Then I can upgrade myself. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, hopefully by the time uh, Christmas comes about, this will be all available or a version of it will be available 
I'm also releasing George. Well, I say I'm releasing him, but I'm also saying that I'm going to release a copy of him, basically, as he is now. I am still working on him at the moment, still making him uh, detect when things move and things. At the moment, George is exactly how he was in the last uh, explanation of uh, going through the, his brain. So, yeah, I think I'll release him, let him go for a field trip on your computers. <laughs> Watch out he don't uh, take over. <laughs> yeah, so I thought I'd update you on my screen and maybe I guess a little bit of a peek on what this Christmas pack is going to be involved. And I guess I'll catch you guys later. Together, signing out.